So we're finally going to get around to doing some epoxy stuff, but first I've got to make me a little tin to stick on here, and this is from the, I think it was a spalted dogwood dragon egg that I did. I got to flush that up, and I take my leftover bits of epoxy, the bottoms of the cups, and whenever I have a little bit too much leftover, I will pour them in some little bowls that I got, some plastic bowls, and then just make junk bowls out of them. Some turn out nice. It's kind of weird to see what you get out of them. Um, both of these do have a bunch of clear and a whole lot of other stuff going on inside of there. I don't know exactly which one I'm going to do in this video, but this is a lot of epoxy and it's about to get really, really, really messy in here. Just can't decide which one I want to do first. I think I might go with this one. I'm going to sand the bottom of this off first, that way it'll give the glue something to stick to. And then we'll get to making a mess. I'm going to use this to find the center of it a lot easier. I know it's round. And then we'll come over here, kind of find our center, and bring it back in. This way we can see where we're at to be in the middle. We're going to use some Starbond Medium. Tip nut be a little bit clogged so we'll just squeeze a little bit yeah we are you can kind of see the colors that's in there now we're gonna take our accelerator give out a good nice wet coat and get back over here and then we're going to put it right so we're gonna need a little bit more than that ah shit. that's gonna be fun all right, then we'll let that dry, and I gotta clean that off my finger somehow. This finger always gets messed up for some reason. I got a bad F you finger, apparently. Because <laughs> you wanna make sure that in there's good and cured. If not, you're gonna have a bad day. Very, very bad day. And stand clear. Oh, no. Well, we're just gonna have to see a glue the bed. It's slung the hell out. Got on my face a little bit. Alright, maybe my eye. Oh, that sucks so bad. Alright. <laughs> We're gonna let it sit a little bit longer. Alright, we should be good now. And I'm gonna show y'all how I rock my tips. I don't always keep mine flat. I'll come in at a slight angle. Make a connection. Let's get up from the center first. Make a connection. Because flat, sometimes I will catch a catch. But if I'm trying to make a soft approach, I'll swing it out. And then bring it in. No, you can't really see that right there. Just swing out, bring it in. And then roll with it. But now let's get these little tits out of here. like a party thing is these things are severely static these all epoxy jobs really really take a long time to do Mm, 
That's some interesting stuff going on in there. That's the only thing about epoxy. All right. This process is going to take a long time. Give y'all a better view of my view.
So don't normally use any kind of paste wax or anything like that. But I'm gonna give it a try. I've had this stuff for a while and I need to get rid of it, use it up. This Axe Abrasive Paste. Yeah, you can see I've had it for a while. I left off sand to get 400. Old sock. Because there's, they're plentiful. Especially how the washing machine or dryer eats one and you got them left over, left and right. So, I'm use these because paper towel seems to like to tear up a lot. And hopefully I can go from 400 to 2000 grit without all the wet sanding. And I just buff them out. And it's not typically the case when you try to cut out some steps. It always seems to be a bit of a problem. Not too bad. I'm definitely gonna have to come back in here and buff it. I like to use car polish whenever I'm buffing because it's, this seems to work a whole lot better. First, I'm gonna try some of this. I ain't tried my stuff. I made some polishing compound a while back and I just never really used it. It works. Got to have it a higher grit takedown first though. So. We will s Typical. Oh, we're just slinging st ah, stuff everywhere. Let's cross our fingers. Oh, goodness, that scared me. I don't think that's supposed to look like that. Really, that's all you had in the handle? Ah. Ah. Time to buy a new one. go Let's see if I can get the right size first time Thing, a little bit of axe and magic paste. That's a bit too much. Oh! I gotta quit hitting that thing.
Almost. Bellissimo. Beautiful. Almost flawless. A little buff on the buffing wheel, and we'll be good to go. We're gonna go with some medium blue. Medium blue. Medium. Starbon. And that accelerator. Bloop. We're just gonna put it in the bowl. And sometimes shit happens. Stuff happens. No nicks. Oh, it snowed out on me. I don't want to hear the dirty comments about how this looks. Oh, about lost it. That's what I get for making jokes. Bodimus. And now for the final results. Uh, they're not too, too fancy, but get some pretty cool effects, different mixes of colors, just based on what I make. Essentially, whatever's left over goes into these things. Um, and as pieces I go by, or pieces I do go by, that's what gets tossed in there. So, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you later.